Reservoirs in Washington County are already reporting lower than average water supplies. According to the Washington County Water Conservancy District General Manager, it's the worst he's seen while living here. It shouldn't be uh, no snow, all dust, and that's what we've got in this watershed today. Lack of snowfall this season is requiring the county to rely on its reservoir storage system to stave off a water shortage this winter. Supported by a single water source, the Virgin River, Quail Creek Reservoir is only 67 percent full, while Sand Hollow is around 93 percent. Thompson said he can't imagine what it would be like if the reservoirs weren't built. Those two reservoirs, uh, Quail probably won't fill, but Sand Hollow is full and it's a big reservoir. So in terms of being prepared to deal with this situation this year, we're in good shape. Even Zion National Park is seeing less snow and water as temperatures remain about 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. While water shortages are not expected in Washington County, the district encourages all water users to be efficient with their use. I think we've been, we had a pretty good year last year, but I think we've been in a drought for the most part for the last 16 or 17 years. And that seems to be a dry cycle. I was hoping last year that maybe we'd move out it and have a period of wet years in here like you usually have, but so far that hasn't shown itself. With the population growing and unforeseen watershed storage in the future, Thompson believes this is why we need to find future reliable water supplies, including the Lake Powell pipeline. We have our wells, we have a groundwater a basin reserve that could be tapped in times of emergency and then we have these big reservoirs. So I think in the, uh, given where we're at today, we're, we're in pretty good shape. It's just as we continue to grow and as you're so reliant on one resource, we need to figure out how to diversify that. Thompson said statistically if snowpack is less than 75 percent of normal by January 1st, there's about a 20 percent chance of getting back to average by April. Traditionally in the southwest corner of Utah, our big months are February, March, but uh, it, you know, where you've had really no significant measurable storm since September, it's uh, hard to make that up in two months. In Washington County, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.